What's up YouTube, this is Unicorn Attack for Total War Addict and I'm beginning with a bit of a strange um, beginning screen um, where I'm now hosting uh, the Beta 2 vs 2 tournament and I just wanted to show you the final match which is between the silent players and the agony players um, just see uh, how worthy these players are because uh, the silent players killed uh, the Seattle Steel players which were composed of Lufmo and Pointman. After that, they had to face the Event Guard and Agony Clan, which were composed of the Shooter AG and Agony Pain Twitchy. And even those uh, matches, they uh, they won with two to one, and they are now in the final. So they're definitely worth it to be in there. Um, looking at the other component, that's the Agony, which is composed of Agony Duck and Agony Prussian Prince. Agony Prussian Prince and Duck killed first myself in the Beta Clan and after that they also killed the Dutch Dokusai players on the map Bay of Many Faces. They haven't uh, had any loss yet so maybe the silent players can turn that around and okay we're on the map and over on the left side we have the Agony Clan and over on the right side the Silent Clan just go quickly to the army compositions we have over here left in the white and black banners we have Prussian Prince his army is composed of one two three three black turtles force in the front and then he has a Royal Marine and a United States Marines in the center of all the line which is a great composition over here and then he has two spear levy just to support and over in the back he has one two three four white bear units and his general which is a which is a gun general then for his calf component he has four vanilla yeri key agony duck uh, one two three four five black turtles force just vanilla units um, then they have for his cavalry component duck has one two three four five four yeri key two shogun guard calf and his general um, so the the army of Duck is again based highly on cavalry. Uh, the opponent of Duck in the black banners is Paper Cut Assassin. I can only see his general. So let's leave it. We can go back any time. I will go back to him when uh, when I see his army. Then I have the Yeri Key of Perea. One, two, three, four. Four Yeri Key and two Shogun Guard Calf. And one, two. Freak Shogitai, one Katana Kachi, and his general is a Bushido Gen. Um, on the on the map we have over on the left side the workshop, which is in the mountains. Then we have on the plain we have the shrine, and over on the right side with the river we have the sword dojo. Just looking at the compositions, um, Perea really deployed very close next to his uh, ally, so. Um, I suppose he will try to help uh, his ally paper cut assassin and will try to find an attack over on this right side I suppose um, but I don't really agree with that because he they have a melee, melee uh, based army over here and uh, as what I can see from paper cut assassin he also has a lot of cavalry a lot of Yeri Ki with a lot of upgrades, 22 melee attack and some Katana Kachi. One, two. One Katana Kachi and. No, two Katana Kachi and three Shogitai with his general, which is a uh, melee general. So let's go to play. And they are both heavily rushing for the Sword Dojo, which will be great for the silent players to have the Sword Dojo. Um, but the attack of uh, the melee units over on this side of the river isn't that great to 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 do because they were slowing down the units quite a bit. And Duck is already initial charging the cavalry of Paper Cut Assassin with all his cavalry. Um, I think the the charge bonus went to Duck because the, his units are at 50 men over here, and Paper Cut Assassin at 35, and he's reinforcing him his units with the back and the units of paper criticisms are now wavering a bit higher view we can see Perea is now helping his ally out with his own cavalry and there's a nice flanking attack of the cavalry of, of Duck into the back lines of the Shogun Guard cavalry of paper criticism which caused them to rout but also the cavalry of, uh, of, of 
of Duck is also routing over here, but his general is nearby to encourage the units. And there's again a nice charge in the back lines. Perea is calling, is helping his ally out, but the cavalry of Paper Cut Assassin is already gone. It's all being shredded by this cavalry of Duck. And there's a very catchy of Agony Duck, I didn't notice that before. And they are now at the sh the, sh the Shogun Guard Cavalry of Perea is now attacking these Gary Catchy. I think that's a micro mistake, or he maybe try to to chase some units. But so the for over on the other side we have a Yuri Key capturing the workshop, and the shrine will also be taken by the Prussian Prince and the units of Paper Cut Assassin and Paria are charging through the water which will allow these Black Tutors Force just to shoot these units because that will really slow them down while running or attacking and they also if they want to attack they have to attack uphill the Shogutai and the Katana Kachi and after when they are on up the are, are when they are up the hill, I'm sorry for that, they will get shot by all these line units from the Agony players like Prussian Prince has a lot of lines made. Um, over on the right side uh, we have the cavalry action still happening, uh, Perea is surrounding his, uh, his, his enemy Agony Duck with his cavalry, nice position over here, there's also a Katana Kachi in the neighborhood to, uh, to help the cavalry out, but the cavalry of Duck doesn't want to rout Look at this, there's a general nearby into uh, to Banzai. So, nice uh, footages over here. But I think the initial charge of the melee units will begin any second. And when you have to deal with all the cavalry of Duck, you still have four Yeri Key units of Prussian Prince, which are vanilla and full and fresh. So, um, they should be very cautious and the charge of the Shogutai are now uh, attacking these Black Tutors Force which are retreating and after that there's a line of another White Bear units from Prussian Prince so these Black Shogutai will just get shredded by all these different lines I can see one, one, two, three lines behind each uh, hill so that's a very good positioning of the Agony players just looking at the charge, uh, they will now get a charge into these white bear which are retreating at just the right time. There's also a cavalry uh, unit of Maria in it. No, I'm sorry, there was, a, there was a general of, um, of um, Prussian Prince. And now they get shot by these, uh, the, the units will get shot by these Royal Marines. They're already exhausted and just retreating units, it will take them so much time to even uh, kill one white bear unit and let's see the deployment of the agony players the Prussian Prince general is also into melee combat over on this side the cavalry isn't really uh, it's a bit of a draw between both teams uh, I think Pyria has the better hand of it he has some Yeri key half strength over on the right flank of the agony players but uh, Prussian Prince is not a good micro by Prussian Prince he's positioning his royal marines over on this side and killing these Yeri catchy and Shogun and Shogi Tai. There's now a ca nice care charge of Perea in the back lines, but I think this uh, right right flank uh, of the Agony players, I'm sorry, the left flank of the Agony players will stand their ground because of the general nearby and there are some uh, Royal Marines in the na United States Marines in the neighborhood. Uh, the Shapir Levy are now attacking the Shogun Guard Cav. 52 men left, but uh, look at these lines. One to three line units uh, in, in sort of layered attack. Um, I think the silent players didn't really knew that this was uh, possible on this map. They really uh, went for their normal straight rush attack and uh, I think they really uh, uh, took the, ba the baddest position to do. Uh, you have over here the water, water which, which will slow you down, and also attacking up this hit ridge, which allow these all these line units to attack your y units. So, um, I think this is not a very good map to um, to attack with a lot of shogi tie. I think some skirmish units would be better, um, but Puria is less stand with his cavalry. Uh, he's now attacking the. White Bear and he's trying to make some kind of flank, but there are two units over here to guard the, the left flank of the Agony players. 
Christian Prince. Uh, Agony Duck has cavalry is uh, almost gone. There's still a general alive. Uh, and this is the last stand of the silent place. Uh, it's the best of three, so I will be very um, interesting what the silent players will get in uh, the second match because it was uh, this was not a very big success. Um, yeah. So a mass route now at the silent players. So um, I was unicorn attack for total War addict. Um, I like the first game from the final. So let's see the second game. Any second. Uh, okay. Let's see the results. I, I wanted to do some commentary with the unit deployment because it's very interesting to watch. Um, just seeing at the number wise, Paria had only 1,000 men deployed. Uh, Prussian Prince double. So, Paper Cut Assassin uh, were a bit just normal with the Agony Duck player. But the kills are number wise. Okay, let's see the unit statistics. Uh, the kills of the Prussian Prince is uh, United States Marines 160 and the Royal Marines 0 losses 143 kills. So, that really did say something about the composition of an army and uh, the deployment of where you will put your units. So, Let's see the Silent Puria. Jerry Key did a very great job, 148 kills. But his Yuri Ketchi and Shogitai just didn't did their, uh, their damage. All of his melee units, only this Shogitai did pretty great, 80 kills. But the Shogitai can easily do 200 kills if you good micro. For Agony Duck, his Shogun Guard Cavalry, Immortals of Nark, um, 107 kills. So they did their purpose. Uh, Yuri Ketchi, 105 kills, that's pretty great. But his Yuri Key totally shredded the Yuri Key of Paper Cut Assassin. So the numbers wise, um, the threat, the kills, uh, numbers wise, uh, the cavalry didn't kill that many units, but they really uh, killed the threat of the enemy cavalry from Paper Cut Assassin. So. And the Black Tutor's Force did okay. Then we have over here a uh, silent paper cut assassin his army. His Katana Kachi 160 kills on the Shogitai. So his melee units did better than Paria's melee units. The Discovery did worse. Yeri Ki uh, all, le all leveled up to level 7. Uh, 747 kills only. So Shogun Guard Cavalry 27 kills. That's, that's just that's not good. The Kishon Ninja I even didn't notice that one. Only 13 kills. So they had a bit of a purpose, but I didn't see them. Shogutai only 12 kills, so um, I think the silent play should definitely change another army setup. So, pretty interesting in the second game. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.